Getting a house in this economy, it can be difficult, but it can be really daunting when you need to get a home loan. But don't worry, I've got you covered with some super helpful information because a VA loan could be a reliable choice for you. Hey guys, I'm Jerry Pincus, your real estate expert here to give you a step-by-step -step guide on VA loans. So give me a thumbs up if you're good with that. What is a VA loan and who's eligible and how can you get one and what's your required credit score? So I'm gonna go through all of these necessary things that you need to keep in mind. Now, a VA loan is a mortgage loan. It's available through a program established by the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. With VA loans, veterans, service members, and their surviving spouses can purchase a home with little or no down payment, no private mortgage insurance, and generally they'll get a very competitive interest rate. Now, the VA sets rules for the loan qualification and arranges the terms under which mortgages may be offered, and it guarantees the loan can be made under this program. This program can provide you with a highly valuable loan. The VA loan itself brings a bunch of advantages, things like the availability to buy a home with no down payment as long as the sales price doesn't exceed the appraised value. Also, no private mortgage insurance, PMI, is required. The VA will guarantee home loans that are available even on manufactured homes, although the maximum loan amounts may vary. Also, the VA loan program limits the closing costs that you may be charged. So this gives you the right to prepay your mortgage without any penalty. Also, the VA may offer you some assistance if you run into temporary financial difficulties through a VA hardship payment. So let's talk about how this loan actually works. Now the VA provides up to 100% financing on the value of a home. And eligible borrowers can use the VA loan purchase to build a home, improve or repair a home, or even refinance a mortgage. It's a good deal. The VA sets the pre-qualifying standards and dictates the terms of the mortgage offer. It backs the loan, but it does not offer the financing. Instead, the VA home loans are provided by private lenders, such as local mortgage companies or banks. When a borrower applies for a loan, they need to provide the lender with a certificate of eligibility. You get the certificate from the VA itself, but to get the certificate, you have to produce service-related documentation, which can vary depending upon whether you're in active duty or a veteran or a spouse who qualifies. The U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs sets the eligibility criteria to apply for a VA loan. If you're in active duty or if you've served 90 continuous days, or if you are a veteran who meets length of service requirements, which generally are 90 days in wartime or 181 days in peacetime, or if you've completed 90 days of active duty service or six credible years in the selected reserve or National Guard. Also, if you're a surviving spouse of a veteran, who died while in service, or a service-connected disability, and you've not remarried. Or if you've remarried after the age of 57, spouses of service members that are missing in action or prisoners of war are also eligible. There is one more to it, and you can still qualify even if you don't meet the length of service requirements in some cases, such as being discharged for a service-connected disability. Here's the real deal, guys. A VA loan can benefit you. Why? Because it's zero down payment. So being able to buy a home without making a large single down payment, it's one of the huge perks. Now this has been part of the loan program since day one, and it makes veterans qualify to purchase without making a large down payment, no matter how much the home they're, they're actually buying. There's also less loan interest. Now according to the data from Optimal Blue, VA loans also have the lowest average rate for the market in the last two years. So getting a lower rate can help veterans qualify for a larger loan. And lower rates also translate to greater savings in both monthly payments and over the life of the loan. Also a flexible credit score. Now I've seen a lot of people who struggle to maintain a good credit score, especially with this crazy runaway inflation. But keeping a good credit score can be hard in some cases. But VA loans, they turn out to be very beneficial because they were created to expand access to home ownership and a VA loan is more flexible and forgiving for credit and the underwriting requirements. Credit score minimums may vary by lender, but Veterans United, which typically looks for a minimum FICO score of 620, and VA loans don't have a hard cutoff for debt to income ratio. It also has a shorter waiting period. Also, there's no mortgage insurance, no PMI, and this is a big benefit because mortgage insurance protects lenders in case the borrowers default. And many conventional lenders, they require borrowers to pay this additional monthly payment for private mortgage insurance unless they can put down at least 20%, which can be challenging for many veterans. Conventional borrowers, they need to pay this monthly fee until they build at least 20% equity in the home. But unlike conventional and FHA loans, VA loans don't require this monthly mortgage insurance. This will protect veterans from needlessly pouring money into a down payment for insurance. It stretches their buying power, and it also prevents them from draining their savings. Also, 
the closing cost limit. This again saves home buying costs. And just so you know, the closing cost limit is a thing that protects the VA lenders from buying or paying a huge chunk of money. Getting a home loan with VA loans, the lender is limited on how much they can actually charge the veteran to originate the loan and process the loan. This can be a big saving. On the other hand, the seller of the property in a VA transaction can pay all of the buyer's loan-related costs and up to 4% of the loan amount in concession. But realize there's also some costs and fees that the VA buyer needs to be allowed to pay. So VA buyers with forms of a VA disability do not have to pay a VA funding fee. And if they're awarded, they may be eligible to have the VA funding fee refunded to you. Now these fees may be changing in the upcoming months, but in order to serve our veterans, my real estate team, they stay up to date with any changes in the program. But listen up, I want you to know that the VA loan program is a positive thing. Now look, my team has had some vets who are concerned. They think that it'll hurt their chances of getting a home. And they're comparing this to when they bought a home years ago. Now we've had veteran clients who are now retiring and buying retirement homes, and they're really unsure of all the different programs. And my real estate team wants to make sure that you're making a smart decision and you're avoiding the pitfalls that are costly. I tried to cover every detail and all the necessary information, which might come in handy when you're trying to get a VA loan. So if you're getting a VA loan or you're buying a house, make sure you watch all my previous videos. You're going to get a ton of valuable, helpful information. I hope you found this video educational and go ahead and share it with someone you know who could use it. I'm Jerry Pincus, your real estate expert. Give us a call at 843-839-9870. My team is always here to help you out. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more real estate and finance related information. Until next time, stay happy, stay educated, and I'll talk to you soon.